Oh man, you remember in that last episode of I Coleman is Doomed when I Coleman was running from those two pinky demons and he had to run all the way back to the beginning of the level and he backtracked all that way and it was really dangerous and and then he had to go through this door on the next level and, and it turns out if you go through that door and then you run out through this door, you're just there and you don't have to backtrack the entire way to get away from the pinky demons? You guys remember that? You remember when that happened and I Coleman is Doomed? Remember when you did? didn't have to go all that way at all, and you wasted so much time doing that time? The most precious resource? The one you could never get back? You remember that? You remember when, when, when you spent, we're going to die, we're all going to die someday, and I, or I spent my precious life essence doing that when I could just run, run through those two doors? You guys remember when I just ran and could run through those doors? Everything's fine. We are doing okay. Folks, welcome back to another episode of I, Coleman is Doomed. Yeah, great. It's a show where I, I, Coleman, trying to play every single Doom game using only the pistol and fists. We're currently playing Doom 3, and we are stuck on a tough level. Which is to say, a, a not very tough level at all that uh, becomes tough if you are completely out of bullets. <laughs> As you can see, using the techniques I've developed last time, my imp punching skill has improved greatly. And my zombie punching skills are as on point as ever. Boy, so much armor. I'm, I'm, I could take a bath in all the little shards of armor that are hanging around, but I couldn't fill an eyedropper with the health I'm getting. Those guys have the right idea. Oh, not a man with a gun. Oh, sounds like a man with a pistol. But uh, if he hits me once, I don't exist. Yes, yes, much like that. Okay, run up and immediately die. Okay, run up and punch and back off and miss and back off and punch and nope. Okay, run up, punch, dodge, dodge, punch, punch. Immediately lose your bearing because it's so freaking dark. Okay, run up and run back. Let's see if you'll follow me out. Yes, he will. Place where it's a little easier to fight him, maybe. Nope. Boy, I'm sure glad I've got all this armor. Yeah, that's really helping out. Alright, only thing to do is to run this way and see if there's somewhere with health or something. Shells. Shells. Always with the shells. Armor and shells. That's all that's on this entire level. I swan to John. Looks like it's possible to jump up there, maybe? There's nothing. There's nothing up here. Just a vent worthless. The good news is Pistol Boy didn't follow me in here, so maybe he didn't wake up. Oh, no, he's awake. Health, 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 please, come on. Okay, so let's talk about this next area, which I refuse to stand in. As you might remember from last time, we're looking for a PDA. That PDA is in that room, and as soon as we pick it up, it's gonna spawn a million imps. Plus, bullet bills still hanging out there. Now, with no health and no ammunition, I think it's pretty clear there's only one strategy here. Run in, get the PDA, run back out through that path I showed in the cold open, and then pray to the good lord almighty. Let's make it happen. PDA acquired. I think I was standing on an imp as it came in. I definitely am there. Take two. Get the PDA. Get lost, get turned around. Oh, it's so dark. Let this guy walk in here. Nope, nope, nope. All right, this time we run back out into the right. Uh, bullet bill. Ah! Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we got past, we got past. Oh no, out on the bridge. Oh, there's so many. I didn't even get to walk in there. We have got, we've got to kill the zombie. I'm convinced that's the only way this is even remotely possible. That's of course assuming that killing the zombie is remotely possible. Pop up some music, editor. We're gonna be here a while. You could 
have a steam train If you just lay down your tracks You could have an airplane flying If you bring your blue skies back All you do is call me I'll be anything you need You could have a big dipper Well, that certainly happened. Now that we're not being shot at, we can really drink in the atmosphere of this room. Delicious. Time to execute operation. Oh no 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 Do I dare even attempt to fight them? Well, I may have died, but I punched that imp in the butt. And at least we'll always have that. Uh, uh, oh! You know, I read today that, uh, so we have, like, caps on the top of our DNA, and it's basically when those caps die, that's when we die. But extreme stress and, you know, holding onto a lot of mental or physical tension, um, actually degrades those faster. So if you uh, put yourself into a lot of high stress situations, you're actually probably going to die sooner. What I'm saying is maybe we should just go ahead and start the funeral planning now. This is clearly not working. Nothing, nothing has worked less than this. I just got these bullets. Do I need to use them now? Maybe if I can just kill that one imp on the bridge, I don't have to kill anybody else. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on! Ugh. Ugh. Die, 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 die! Yes, okay! Alright, we're out. We lost ten bullets. Imps are still coming in, but it's okay. We're running now. And it's I Coleman at the front of the pack, and he saves! And there's more imps happening. My sweet goodness, but that's okay, maybe we can... Uh, uh this is so bad. Uh, this is so enormously, tremendously bad. Alright, I'm gonna summon this guy into the room, and then I'm out! I'm out, I'm leaving, I'm running away. Let's have us a peek. Looks like they're all stuck there, except for this one guy. Now, I suppose, we shall run back. Alright, here we go, here we go. Ah! Nope! Thanks. Nothing to do but do it. Nothing to do but do it. Just try and run past them. Get a bullet guy and a shotgun guy. Wouldn't mind killing the bullet head. Shotgun guy's gonna be trouble. All right, we're gonna have to do the old cover routine. Uh, the imps are still coming in, huh? Um. Okay, an idea presents itself. If we can run past all the imps, we run through here. The shotgunner does not immediately blast us. We'll crouch down there. Nope. There is a room in that area that opens with the PDA we picked up. If that room has health, or better yet, bullets, suddenly we've changed the game. An old Tommy shotgunner here. Ugh. This shotgunner, I hate him so much. Can't believe it, I outsmarted the imps. I managed to get them stuck behind that blockade. I, I managed to beat Bullet Bill. And 
stupid shotgunner is spawned just a little too close to the door! If it was just the shotgunner and not the pistol guy, I could probably do what I did with Bullet Bill earlier, dodge around and kill him. If the shotgunner spawned a little farther away from the door, I could get through, just like a foot back. I could run through to the area where the PDA is. And instead, this big, mean Mother Hubbard, he's the, he might as well be the final boss of the game. He might as well be the cyber demon. Unable to fight, unable to flight. The shotgunner owns my being. I just live in the world. The shotgunner runs it. Hi there, folks. There's a little screen over here says, This is Alpha Labs. Alpha Labs 1. It's the level after the administration level you all were just watching. Um, I managed to get past that shotgunner uh, and run into the room that the PDA unlocked, which had a little bit of health, and then I was able to run out to the level exit and uh, even play a little bit of this level. And then I went to go uh, turn off the recording because I thought I'd finish the episode and discovered with horror that it had stopped recording all on its own. I lost about 30 minutes of footage. Now, I managed to run past the shotgunner once. I'm sure I could run past him again, but here's the problem. I quick saved over my previous quick save. I only have one save in the UAC administration level. And it's, it's here at the beginning. Now, clearly, the only explanation for this is that that shotgunner so didn't want me to pass him that when I finally did, he shotgunned the video itself through the game. Clearly the only explanation. Now I could just ask you guys to trust me. Trust that I really did make it to Alpha Labs without breaking any of the rules of the run and... You know, that just go on from there, but, well, it doesn't sit right with me. So instead, we're going to play UAC Administration again. Boy, editor, I, I hope you pick some good music for this one. There's a wrecking and a coming, and it burns me on the grave. Lead inside my belly, cause my soul has lost its way, oh Lazarus, how did your debts get paid? Oh Lazarus, were you so afraid? When the fires, when the fires have surrounded you. The hounds of hell coming after you I've got blood, and I've got blood When the fires, when the fires are consuming you And your sacred stars won't be guiding you I've got blood, I've got blood Or a priest. When you're cursed, you're always hoping that a prophet would be grieved. Oh, Lazarus, how did your debts get paid? Oh, Lazarus, were you so afraid? Can't you see I'm sorry? I will make
I'm dead and gone It won't be Where we started. Can't lie to you folks, that does feel good. And you guys, I double, triple, quadruple checked that we got that on film. We are in fact recording this time. There's an area in here, it gives us nothing except a few grenades and a PDA we don't care about. Then there's this ladder. Why, that'll take us right up here. We can jump down and head out of the level. Boom. Marine. I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. Pick up the pace. Oh really? You think I'm going a little slow? Do you know what I had to do to get here, Sergeant Kelly? I became unstuck from time. Let's see what's in Alpha Labs. A lot of zombies, so pr pretty much the same thing that was outside of Alpha Labs. You know, it's times like this where I wonder if maybe the people complaining about the flashlight didn't have themselves a point. Oh well, who needs it? Flailing around in the dark was good enough for my ancestors, and it's good enough for me. Anything good on the desk? Oh yeah, more shells, because I need that. Some bullets, nice. <gasps> and health! And armor, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's really gonna tie the whole thing together. Well, we made it to Alpha Labs. This seems like a good place to stop. On the other hand, I guess, you know, we could unlock the doors, see what's over here. <gasps> You! Absolutely not. We will not be doing this again, thank you. 